Hello friends, this is Manohar Veera from Exambin. In this session, we are going to see about NAV IC, India's answer to GPS systems of America. Thanks to global positioning system, in modern world, one is never get lost anywhere. GPS lets you track your location with the help of internet connectivity. So far, in India, we are dependent on GPS that is an American initiative. Now in India is all set to unveil its own Desi version of GPS titled Nav IC. Here we are going to see some important facts about the Nav IC. Let's get started. First, what is Nav IC? Nav IC is an acronym of Navigation with Indian Constellation. It is an operational name for Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System that is IRNSS. The name is chosen by Prime Minister Narendra Modi after the IRNSS 1G satellite was launched. It will provide users with accurate information about the positions and is set to be ready for the public use by early 2018. Let's see some important information about the cost and timeline involved in this NAVIC project. The project cost Indian Space Research Organization ISRO and an amount of rupees 1420 crore and was completed with the successful launch of IRNSS 1G satellite on April 28, 2016, one year ago. IRNSS 1G was the last among the seven satellites in constellation which helps the NAVIC positioning. Though the DESI positioning system is operational now, it is not yet ready for the public use. So what's the difference between NAVIC and GPS? India, as I said earlier, using American GPS system which is started in 1973. There have been hurdles when we use a third country resource. One fine example for this is, the United States of America had denied provisioning GPS information to India in 1999 during the Kargil War. With the indigenous positioning system, India will also be among the countries that have their own positioning systems like America's GPS, European Union's Galileo and Russia's GLONASS. So India will be the only fourth country in the world to have their own GPS system that is global positioning system. So what are the areas it is going to cover the NAVIC project? Space Application Center Director Tapan Mishra has said that NAVIC will be covering the entire country, Indian Ocean and its surroundings. In the west, the system will have a reach till eastern parts of Arabian Peninsula and in the east, some parts of China. In the south, NAVIC signals will work till Malaysia. On the other hand, China is also building its own Baidu navigation system, navigation satellite system, which is not yet operational. So is there a technical difference between GPS and NAVIC? Yes, it's there. NAVIC covers India and its surrounding with 7 satellites in the constellation while America's GPS uses 24 satellites but provides the positioning service across the globe. NAVIC will be providing standard positioning service to all users with a position accuracy of 5 meter. The present GPS of US has a position accuracy of 20 to 30 meter which is far higher than the NAVIC which is proposed to give only 5 meter accuracy. So how it is superior from others? The distance of accuracy is a main factor. Along with that, uh, Mr. Tapan Mishra who is the SCC director has also told that NAVIC is not dependent on any model to find the frequency error. So it will be more accurate than GPS. Mr. Mishra also stressed on the fact that NAVIC is being made ready for common public as well with the development of digital chips which can be used in mobiles and any other electronic gadgets. So when it is going to be released? Mr. Mishra has added that academics institutions have been roped into ground verification and calibrate data of NAVIC to find its accuracy. 
for the technology to be used in mobiles and other electronic gadgets, the Space Application Center have developed digital SIFs. The Indian Army Force has already made receivers compatible with NAVIC. The military service will supposedly use the positioning system to track aircrafts and deliver missiles. So the last and final question, how it is going to help in the future? India's own positioning system would aid in various things ranging from disaster management to terrestrial, aerial and marine navigation. For drivers on the road, it will provide visual and voice navigation to help the directions. It can also be used with mobile phones like how GPS is used now and will help users with tracking and locating in unknown areas. So thank you for watching this video friends, do share the video if you find this information is helpful. Subscribe to our channel to get more updates like this.